following are instructions on programming Gamma Electronics RF remote control systems. Today we will be programming part number RF12V1PR-ASL. This is a standard unit that we sell, but the programming steps are similar to all of the other products that we manufacture. The first step in programming your unit is connecting power. To do that, I connect the positive lead to the positive terminal and the negative lead to the negative terminal. When power is connected, the red LED will turn on and quickly turn off to indicate that power has been connected. If you have purchased a long range unit, you will have been supplied a long range antenna. This antenna must be plugged in to the white connector on the receiver. If you do not connect the antenna to the receiver, the receiver will not accept a program and will not work. The unit we're working with today is not long range and does not require a long range antenna. To program a transmitter to the receiver, hold down the blue program button. The red LED will illuminate. Press a button on the transmitter. The LED will blink one time and then it will extinguish. The unit is now set up in momentary mode. Momentary mode means when I hold the button down, the unit is active. When I release the button, the unit is off. This system, like most of ours, can also be set up in latching mode. To do that, press and hold the blue program button. Press one button on the transmitter one time, then a second time. The LED will blink once, then rapidly, and then it will extinguish. The unit is now in latching mode. In latching mode, I press a button one time, and the unit goes active. It stays active until I hit the button a second time. Holding down the blue program button erases the memory and waits for a key fob to be paired to it. If no key fob is paired to it, it will not accept a signal. Our systems can be set up to operate on multiple remote controls program multiple remote controls to the same receiver, press and hold the blue program button until the red LED illuminates. Press a button on your first transmitter, then a button on your second transmitter. The LED will blink once for each unit and then extinguish. Now both transmitters are programmed to work with the receiver. This can also be set up in latching mode as we did in one of the previous steps. The RF-12V1PR ASL also comes with auxiliary switch leads that are meant to be connected to an external switch. The auxiliary switch leads allow you to operate the system without the need for a key fob transmitter. When connected to the switch, the black is common and a connection to either the yellow or the green wire will activate the unit in momentary mode. 